enough if Micah Stoffer and James Stoffer split up? Maybe. This is according to a comment that was up on the Instagram, and we haven't checked in with them in a hot minute, so I thought, why not? And if they did split up, would any of you literally be surprised? Instagram, James Stoffer, who by the way, his Stoffer Garage channel is booming. And for some reason in this society, we don't hold fathers responsible for adopting children and giving them up and still allowing them to have a job on YouTube. We're okay with that as long as they make content that's not related to kids. Uh, his channel is now over a million subscribers and he had a video last month that hit over a million views. So, so much for James Stoffer being canceled. He's still making a ton of bank even after Micah and James Stoffer rehomed their adopted child that they used for content and became famous for. So James is making bank y'all and laughing at everyone because he's not canceled, which so disturbs me. Micah has not been on YouTube in a very long time. She actually has not said anything publicly since I think it was last June. I was actually looking at her Instagram and her last statement was this whole thing on Instagram about how she was so sorry she let people down and she can't believe and she this and that. And she had all these things she wanted to tell us but she couldn't and she wanted to protect the boy and this and that and anyway and then there was the whole police investigation where they determined that nothing really happened and everything was done under the law even though the laws in this case are very loose as in regards to adoption but they had some home studies and the little boy was doing well and so the police closed everything and everyone sort of moved on and Micah hasn't been on social media at all like she has abandoned her her Instagram she has abandoned her channel she had a multi, she had two channels and both channels have nothing on it. Their Stop for Life channel, which was their family blogging page or family ch blogging channel is completely gone. And now a comment on Stoffer Garage has some people thinking that they've split up because James Stoffer actually liked a comment about them splitting up. And James Stoffer has limited his comments on his Instagram. So I don't know what's going on. Last week, about four days ago, James did this car detailing video and he does these reels. And a woman underneath it said this, I'm so sorry to hear about you and Micah. I hope y'all find the happiness you both deserve. And then the comment was actually liked by Stoffer Garage. I'm so sorry to hear about you and Micah. I hope y'all find happiness that you both deserve. So that's like out of left field. And I couldn't find anything where he had said anything publicly about them splitting up. And he liked the comments. And that's something that you only say to someone who is broken up. Like, I'm sorry to hear about you guys. I hope you both find happiness that you deserve. Meaning like, it's obvious it's not working out here. And it's obvious that you guys are not together anymore. And you need to find happiness. So I was trying to do some digging and there's nothing that I could find that says that they're split. In fact, they still own a home together and I wasn't able to find any divorce documents. That doesn't mean that they might not be separated. They could be in a trial separation maybe. Maybe they are living in separate properties. Maybe they are moving on. No divorce filings are happening and they're both still listed on the property that they own, the same place that they own this whole time in Ohio. So nothing legally has happened yet, but it's interesting that this person would make this comment and then James would like it. Micah is still following, Micah is still following Stoffer Garage and Stoffer Garage is still following her, but Micah's account is kind of dead. So I don't know if that even like matters because you know, it's a dead account at this point. She hasn't posted anything on her account since June of 2020. So what does he know that we don't know? And why could this be a possibility? My hunch, and again, my speculation, this is all a rumor. This is more of a tea video because I don't have any concrete proof that this is true, but I kind of still wanted to talk about it. When this whole thing happened, there was something very interesting to me. James seemed more emotional about what happened than Micah did. And if you watched any of their videos, 
James was way more involved with Huxley and much more connected and tied to Huxley than Micah was. And when I did interviews with people, they said that James was a much more hands-on father than Micah was and that James spent most of the time with Huxley. And he even said on in videos that he was, you know, with him the most and he was doing most of the cares. And there was this sense that once they got him there, they got overwhelmed and he bonded with James right away. And he didn't bond as quickly with Micah and Micah was like kind of upset about that. She even talked about that in videos. And I have videos on my channel in my Micah Stafford play with playlist where we talk about all these things that she said. So you can go back through them and see like up here. But my thought was this, was it so that did there was, did it become this rift where this massive thing happens on social media and was there some resentment by him? Maybe he actually would have preferred to try to keep going for Huxley. Maybe he would have preferred to stick with it and maybe it was Micah that pushed it and wanted to get him out because it was Micah that was sort of the one seen in all of these different groups talking about you know, adoptions and she was the one that was so vocal about it and she was the one that was also like the one that was talking to people that she was struggling and having issues. So do you think maybe he was resentful of the fact that maybe she just couldn't handle it anymore and they had to get, you know, the child, give the child back and he got angry at her? Do you think maybe Micah got jealous of him being able to have a job and she, she has to go to fade into the back? Because when you look at Micah's like leading up to all of this, she was such on a path to wanting to be famous. She had been working as a model and had done all of these different things throughout the years where it seemed really hard to believe that she would be so willing to go into the background and not have a public face. So part of me is like, okay, so is he resentful at her for it not working out? And then is she resentful at him because she got all of the backlash and he didn't get any of the backlash? And so are now they in their house like fighting about all of this because he's going on his merry way? Or is this all just like one big nothing? burger. I have to believe that what the scrutiny they've been under under the last year would be would make any couple crumble. Put in a woman like Micah who is very out there, very seemingly at times unstable and very in my opinion narcissistic and then you put a narcissistic into a box. You can't have you can't have her online anymore. She can't have a public face anymore. She's literally left the internet and then you have James just going on his merry way. Do you think there's jealousy there or do you think it's nothing? Like I'm trying in my mind to figure out what this comment meant. Like I even went as far to reach out to the person to say, what's this about? I didn't hear back. To me, it feels like there's something there because why else would you say to someone, I'm sorry to hear about you and Micah? Like you would only say that if something bad had happened, if a split had happened, and then I hope you both find the happiness that you deserve. Nothing happened on their social medias in the last couple weeks to warrant that kind of comment. So I feel like this is someone that has either inside knowledge of things that have happened in their life or it's a friend, it's a family member, I don't know. But somewhere somebody knows what's going on between these two and I looked on their, you know, all the different people they follow, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't even find new photos of the family posted. I mean, that's how invisible Micah has made her life at this point. She's abandoned her Facebook. She's abandoned her Instagram. The only thing I can think of is that Micah is existing on the internet under a complete alias so that nobody can find her and that she can still have interactions with people. Because I can't understand how she could go from being so out there to being completely retreated. Do you ever wonder like, is she going to come back? Is she going to come out of hiding? Or do you just think like, don't ever come back. Don't ever come out of hiding. And what do you think about his channel hitting a million? And do you think they've split up? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.